Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you are an indie developer, you are no doubt aware of Game Jams. If you're not aware of Game Jams, basically they are, we can call them competitions. Uh, they're mostly just for fun, they're built around generally a common theme, or a common set of constraints, and generally a time limit. And that's about it, basically for a bunch of developers might to get together that are all uh, Unreal Engine enthusiasts, for example. They'll pick a common theme such as GOATs and a deadline of two weeks from now. And the people will go together and try to create the best GOAT game in Unreal Engine in that time frame possible. Now, there are a couple of big ones that rise to the top. Things like Ludum Dare that are probably the best well-known. But there are game jams at every tier and every level available. Basically, there are regional level ones, like such as the incredibly well-named local Toronto game jam called Toe Jam. Uh, there's, you know, ones at national levels. There's one built around particular game engines or particular styles of games. Uh, you name it, if you're interested in it, there is probably a corresponding game jam out there. So many, in fact, that even just keeping track of them is a virtual nightmare. And I thought about in the past a game from scratch actually focusing on or featuring game jams as they came up, giving a way for people to submit game jams, collect them all in one place, and then I ultimately just didn't do it because frankly, there's just so many of them. And at the same time, I would love to participate in game jams, but I have too many commitments, too many pressures. I just don't have the time to dedicate to really creating something great in a short period of time, which is a shame because I always thought it'd be kind of fun to Twitch stream some live development of game jam stuff, but I haven't. So anyways, I thought about creating this tool for bringing all these game jams together so people could easily find them, organize them, etc. And the greatest thing in the world happened. Someone else did the work for me. And I love when that happens because then I can continue to be lazy. So basically, Itch.io, which is quickly becoming a hub for all things indie development, Development, they have launched a game jam tracker and this is the blog post I will toss it down below basically announcing the new game jam tracker um, not really much to say there other than the fact that they now have a game jam tracker what I would recommend instead is going to said tracker and what you can see here is all of the different game engines that have been read or sorry, game jams that have been registered with uh, the itch.io guys so you can see here it's August right now the 23rd so right here these are all the game jams going on, or the ones about to start. So you can see this in this nice calendar format. You can scroll forward, you can scroll back in time, and see all the various different options that are available. Uh, if you see an interesting game jam, you can basically go in here, uh, click on the link, and here you see, for example, this is a Game Boy-specific game jam. Um, you see the rules for the jam. Uh, generally, there's a tag or twit, um, like a Twitter tag that you can hashtag your own development on it. Uh, sometimes there are judges to be, um, you know, formally to figure out who won the game jam. Sometimes there's prizes. Sometimes it's just for fun. Well, most of the time it's just for fun. But these are good ways to um, force yourself to create small projects, especially when you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of experience under your belt. You'd be amazed at how much you actually learn from engaging in these small defined projects and the timeline and the constrained nature of it make it so you don't have to make quite as many decisions so it actually can foster some really good habits especially for a learner plus it gives you a reason to be as quick and dirty as you want to be now if you also scroll down this game jam tracker to the bottom and of course i will toss this link down below as always here you can see a different view showing basically all of the game jams that are currently running right now how much time is left um and basically how many people are involved and how many people have actually made submissions. And you can click and you can actually go see the submissions. A pretty cool tool. It kind of brings them all together in one place. So no matter what you're looking for, if you are trying to find a game jam, here you go. The only thing kind of missing is I would like to see the ability to search by region. And hopefully that will come at some point in time. So basically I could say game jams nearish me. Um, or game jams in this genre. Like, so if I want to see JavaScript game jams, I could filter down by that, but this tool is awesome. Um, just love to see some filtering tools to make it just a little bit better. And on top of that, if you have your own game jam, obviously you can come here as well. You can host it here. Uh, just come on in here, click create a game jam, fill out the details of your game jam, the criteria, the picture if you've got one, and create it. 
and that's about all that it really takes. Uh, obviously, you need to sign in and have an account with itch.io, uh, but it's getting more and more common that itch.io is being used for so many things. You probably already have an account at this point in time. Anyway, it's a great new tool. I figured I would share it here. Uh, also, want some feedback from you guys. How much interest do you have in Game Jam coverage? Um, I think with this tool around, there's less and less need to really promote them. And I don't really want to clutter this channel up with Game Jam stuff because, as you see, there are just so damn many of them going on right now. But are you interested in hearing more Game Jam related coverage on this channel or no thank you? Uh, of course, your feedback always shapes how things develop here, so I would be interested in knowing what you think down below. Also, do you get involved in game jams? If so, which ones? Why? Do you enjoy it? Would you recommend it to others? Or, nah. Alright, let me know. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.